Hello friends, today we are going to start a new session for to cover some few questions regarding the CKA exam questions. So, as a part of the CKA exam questions, this is a first challenge for you guys in which I included three questions and you can do that questions by yourself or I am also providing a solutions after the questions so in case you don't find the solutions or you have some difficulty in understanding the questions you can review my lab so going to the first questions of this challenge series for the CK exam question number one challenge one create new pod called admin pod with image DC box allow the pod to be able to set system time so you after the creating the pod you can able to set the time in the container for the container the container should be sleep for 32 seconds so you can just pause the video and do the lab or we are jumping for the lab sessions to perform this activity okay so let's create a one pod with name admin pod kubectl run admin pod image we are going to use pgbox and the command is sleep for 32 100 seconds let's generate the one definition file for this okay so just copy till here and create one file or with name pod dot y okay. now paste it all the contents here okay so this thing we don't require let's remove it okay so in the questions there even additional thing is required that the container should sleep we already added that and the, uh, the one other thing is that the allow the pod to be able to set the system time for this we need to refer the documentations the kubernetes documentations and we need to add some capabilities so this is the documentation please and we need to add some capabilities for to just set for the system let's find it here system this time this one so copy these particular things and we can add it Uh, we don't require the net uh, admin so we are going to remove it just we require system admin as per the questions ok save it and now kubectl apply minus f the name of the definition file start with one apply it let's clear the screen qctl get pod so we have one pod with the name admin pod is currently running let's check the definition file it's better to verify all the things after doing qctl describe pod admin so you can see that we added sleep is equal to 3200 and it's running and the image that we use the basic box so all things looks good so in the questions the ck exam questions they are either ask you the same questions or they will change the sleep timings or they will ask you to do 
uh, create a pod, uh, yeah, some other name spaces, some other clusters. So only these things they can change it. So now jumping to the second questions. Now the challenge number two. There have one file called test.cube.config is placed into a location root inside the test folder. There is some mistake that you have to identify in the configuration file. You have to fix it. You have to review all the configuration things in the file that has been done. And if you identify the problem, just save that file after doing the modifications. Now I am going to jump into the lab session to demonstrate this with you. Okay, in this question we have to validate the cube config file. The name of the file is test that is placed under the test folder. And there is something wrong with the configuration. So as per this, uh, this is the cube config file. Uh, you can see the dummy file but we have to look into it and uh, if there is any problem we have to fix it definitely the file have some problem so let's have a look cd test okay so we we identified the uh, the file let's uh, cat that file So it's looked like the cube config file as we mentioned. So the version is correct. The cluster, the certificate, because this this don't have the problem. You have to think about in different way. There is there really no problem with the certificates because you can't do anything with, it, with that. The name is fine. The context is defined for the cluster. And the user is also defined. So the only point is to check regarding the server URL. So this is the APIs. We have to match it with our current. So how to do that? QCTL config view. This is the current uh, config file. And here you have the port 6443. What is the port ever? Okay. There is a problem with the port, so let's use the Vim editor to modify it. Test and we have to use 6443, that is the port used for the cube API. 6443, and let's save it. Clear the screen. Once you set, save it, let's browse it to check the other changes reflecting or not. So 6443 and this is the also we have in the current the config file as you, we are using config view 6443. So that's it. So we completed our second questions. Now challenge number three. You have to create a new deployment. The deployment name will be web dash project dash 268. You have to use the image nginx with the tag 1.16 and the replica should be 1. Next, you need to upgrade the deployment to version 1.17 using rolling update. Make sure that the version upgrade is recorded in the resource annotations. You have to record the information so that you have the proper history maintained that what you did in the upgradations. Now I am jumping to the lab 
to perform this activity. Okay, now we have to create one deployment. The name of the deployment is Web Project 268. So let's create it. QCTL and create deployment. The name of the deployment is Web Project and the name number of the project is 268. Okay, the image that we are going to use. As per the questions, we have to use Nginx and the tag is 1.16 and it's asking to create a one replica. By default, the one replica will be created if we not define anything, so it's not required and uh, the strategy for this deployment by default is rolling, uh, rolling update. So there is no need to define anything, just create the deployment. Okay, so the one deployment is created, kubectl, get deployment. So one deployment is created and it's uh, creating one, uh, one port for this. Let's monitor that as well. Port. If you don't watch many of my video of the deployment, just uh, have a look on that particular session. So I, I created one uh, uh, deployment for the, I only created one video for the deployment as well. So I have a look. So we have one port currently running. Now we have to set our image. There is two ways way we can define, but we have to record uh, the version, the, we record the version informations as well. So better to create with the imperative way. So let's check the container. What is current current deployment is using kubectl. Describe and the name of the deployment is web. So you can see that the container it's using is nginx. Okay. So let's clear the screen first. kubectl set image deployment and the name of the deployment is web project the number of the project is 268 okay and the container name is nginx okay and we are going to set the image as per the questions the version is 1.17 okay so let's and we have to record this is the very important So you can see that the image is updated. Let's verify it. kubectl and describe deployment. Name of the deployment is web deployment and uh, graph for the image for the image. So you can see that the, our image is um, set with the new new one, 1 1.17. Now check the history, QCTL, rollout, history for the deployment, and the name of the deployment is. So here you can see that uh, we have recorded all the informations and this is the requirement of the questions so that um, the, it's saying that the make sure that the person upgrade is recorded in the resource annotations. So it's already recorded the informations that uh, under the revision number two, what we did. So which uh, it's clear that we are changing the image. The previous one is uh, we have 1.16 and current is 1.7. If you like my video, please subscribe this channel and click on the like button and share it with your friend as well. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Keep learning. Keep learning.